definitely talking about the black community, state of the black community and things of that nature. Yes, sir. I got some very powerful Ooh. people up here that are doing positive things. Want. Only bringing people up here that do positive sorry. things. Shout out to all my people on Facebook. I know y'all see oh, me. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all all switched over to Facebook. David, what's good? Florida, what's good in the building? Yeah. Uh, who else in the building? Let me see. Um, Andre, what's good, bro? You know what I'm saying? So, look. Sit back. Maybe take notes. I also need y'all to ask me some questions, too, bro. If y'all hear them, if y'all hear something they say and y'all don't agree with it, I need y'all to comment back, too. Everybody's live on their personal pages as well. So, it's definitely a forum that definitely works out. Hello. How you doing? So, like I said, uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. And once they introduce themselves, we'll tell the rules and then we'll go from there. All right? Cool. That's, that's the, that's the Yo, Roger, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm going to start at you, Guru, all right? Okay. Yeah. You ready? Ready? Yep. I'm going to introduce myself to my business and all that stuff? Yep. All right. Talk to that camera, too. Yep. How's everybody doing? It's your boy, Paul, a.k.a. Paulie the Bull. Uh, CEO of 2021 Vision. Um, right now, basically, podcast, YouTube channel, similar, similar to what you know the homies here, real Q and A, got going on. Uh, soon to be growing into bigger and better things, but more on that later. Uh, I'm just happy to be a part of you know this uh, community event we got going on right here, right now. So, you yeah. know, cool. All right, my name is John, um, real estate investor, um, empowering the youth. By talking to, I go out and talk to youth. I help the old people. I make sure I help <laughs> good, the old good, people in the neighborhood. Right. Check good. on them. That's and um, I'm just here to bring some positivity, bring some light from from a, a older perspective, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, just dig in, and I hope that you learn something. Cool. And my name is Justice Shabazz Allah. I'm a fitness professional. I'm the CEO, owner, creator, Gym Gang Fitness, lifestyle brand. The IG for the company page is Gym Gang Fitness on Instagram. My personal um, page on Instagram is New York City's Hottest Trainer. And I've been here before. Good friend of Ant. Happy to be a part of this community event. Thank you. Good girl. Oh, it's my turn. You can go first, um, Keisha. Oh, I'm Keisha hey, Green. I am an accountant. Um, I also have my own business, two of them. I am, uh, I help people, I would say, I bring people from the dark into the light and show them how to not only make money, how to make their money work for them because we have a, um, a big issue with working for money. So helping people understand how to let their money work for them. Also teaching financial literacy to um, kids and teens and then helping adults repair, build, and fix their credit and teaching them how to make their money work for them as well. Yo, um, do me a favor, y'all, before we go to Deanna. Yo, turn the light down on that right there. Is it bright? Too bright. Let me see something. Turn it down. Turn it down more. Turn sure it back on me. And turn that one down right there. Because it's making it mad blurry on the phone. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, good, Deanna. Tell me this. this, this stuff. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Deanna. Um, I am a graphic designer. I also work at JD Beauty as a freelancer, um, and I started my business this year. I have a cr crazy, crazy amount of clientele, looking for more clientele, and I'm happy to be a part of this community. Facts, let's do it. So, this is real Q and A. We ask real questions, and we expect real answers. You know, um, basically today's gonna be like on some real, real. This is the real I need y'all to be today. Like, <laughs> you know, like, you know I mean? like this is no, this is not a game. So. Um, yeah, so like, I just need y'all to give me real answers. Be yourself. I would do the birthday thing. We ain't gonna do that today. <laughs> all right, so we just gonna go straight into it, okay? So like, I'm gonna say a name, all right? And when I say a name, I want you to give me the first thing you think of that, that, of that person when I say this person's name. So we're gonna start with you, Paul, all right? So when I say the person's name, okay. you can give me maybe a sentence of what you originally think about this particular person, okay? okay? Whatever you may feel, okay? Okay. All right, so the first name I'm gonna say is Obama. Um, okay, we're gonna go right to it. <laughs> obvious first black president. Okay. Uh, the person that made people believe something that we always thought wasn't impo wasn't possible okay. could be possible. Uh huh. Right. What about you, sir? Um. Epitome of of what the United States wants a black man to be to be successful. Okay. Um. We all know that's not the real criteria, <laughs> but that is what they want us to do. And even with that, they still shoot us down. Okay. 
Yes. Obama is hard, man. I know. That's why I said. That's why we're gonna start it right off. <laughs> Give me something though. Disappointment. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Obama. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Somebody agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Real Q and A. Let's keep it real. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, Keith? Um, Obama. I'm gonna say trendsetter, the first to do it. Um, regardless of what he did. Somebody had to get in that door, and um, in order for us to you know, get a seat at the table, like somebody have to, you know, be the first one to do it. So I'm, I'm gonna say trends that are just um greatness. Now tell me we have to see us. I don't have to do it the front. I don't know why, but that light, bro, is killing my camera on this side, bro. Well, go ahead. Again? Yeah, it's just too bright. You have to turn one of them off or something. Good. All right. Yeah. Um, so Obama, um, the first black man to, in my opinion, to handle presidency and their his family at the same time and be like really cohesive and be able to handle both things at once. All right, cool. So we're going to flip and start with you this time. We're going to start with her this time. So what y'all think about Obama? Y'all can comment and tell me what you think about Obama. I think I'm kind of on Justin's side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Disappointment. But he did it. He did it. He, he, he made it achievable. Made something believe that's yeah. achievable. I mean, I agree. With, <laughs> I, I agree with, he's, he's more, it's, it's a lot more to it than what we all said. But yeah, I agree with everyone. Interestingly that, enough, though, the question becomes, do we overlook a person's achievements when they don't do what we feel they should have done? Right? Yeah. So I believe he has Double more edge. positive. Right. He has done and, and put forth more positive as an image of a black man mm-hmm. in this country than he has as a negative. Um, in the details, mm-hmm. all right, that's this policy, mm-hmm. you know, and then, then, then you start touching into policy. But as far as, I remember making people write essays or what it meant to them mm-hmm. uh, when he became president for the first term. Mm-hmm. And most of the people, and I, I used to deal with the adolescents mm-hmm. on, on Rikers Island. And when I had them write essays, they, most of them couldn't even believe it. Mm-hmm. And, and so it gave them something to strive for. It just made them believe. So that is what we consider to be the bowels of society. And even in the bowels of society, they saw some light at the end of the tunnel when he became president. So, you know, policy sometimes, we, we can't throw out what somebody, what we don't like about somebody based on our personal opinion mm-hmm. when, when their achievement surpassed anybody's goals. I think we expected too much. Yeah. Like we, it's like yeah. it was the first black president and mm-hmm. we expected just everything. Like we right. forgot this is still no president. excuse me, this is still white America. Mm-hmm. Like right. we forgot that like as soon as the black president came, whoa, no. Well, we, supposed to get land we, called him, yeah. we called him the first black president. He was a president that was black. That was black. Right. Mm-hmm. And we, right. we looked at it as, oh, he's the black president. So, and we just thought he was gonna come out and like, yo, okay. you know, fried chicken every Tuesdays and <laughs> we expected him right. to just Which look at us like and give now. us when he was still like, the president. The president so, that was black. Right. Right. I got you. Mm-hmm. Now that's so not like your narrative. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was the president. At the end of the day, he was a president. And we finally got a different shade of presidents after, mm-hmm. you know, 40, 43 of them that looked one way. Mm-hmm. He just looked a different way. However, he got in there, you know, he, he got in there the way to get in there. And he did what typically happens when you're in there. And, you know, that, that's why I say he gave the he gave a, a look that, you know, we didn't expect. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, he was a president. Yeah, cool. He was a politician. Facts. And, and, and yes. that's, you know, that's the part that so, you know, you can look at, like you said, it's multifaceted, you know, Glad he did it, and and he gave a look that said it's possible. Uh, However, I, his focus was still politics. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was a politician. I yeah. I think um, with the Obama thing, like most of um, our black I don't want to use the word elites, but our black people who ascend to those chambers that we could never fathom. Mm-hmm. Um, they take. I think black people that are successful on multiple levels tend to do what um, the term that is coined, you forget where you come from. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I say that in the sense that we think that because we did it, then why the hell you ain't do it? Mm -hmm. And that's not always So you think that's what he did? I must blame him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think he takes for granted the fact that most of us are uneducated in um, politics on any level. Most people that vote, that are black, only vote because he's black, mm-hmm. or vote Democrat, because most people are Democratic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a crown opportunity to um, 
yes, get motivation, but we've been motivated. You get motivated from your favorite athletes. We've been motivated for hundreds of years mm -hmm. by various people. We were motivated by Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. But to educate us on how the game works and how the games play, he should. I think he should be more transparent. When he first got elected, I was scared he was going to get killed because we live in a yeah. country where we kill our president. Mm -hmm. um, so I, um, I can understand um, his caution and him moving smooth the first term because, you know, Honestly, I didn't know. I, I was prayed for like, damn, I hope they don't hurt this man. And then we have to riot and act crazy mm -hmm. in America. But when he got in for the second term, that's where the disappointment more comes from. I really wish he would have um, really, you know, all that fist bumping with Jay-Z and brush your shoulders off <laughs> bullshit. Like, nah, that's, we don't need so, that. You know what I'm saying? You look at, but you but look I'm curious, at pandering, though. or do you think it was really him? Say it again? Do you feel he was pandering by fist bumping, playing ball? I think he was, ball? because the thing of it is this. Um, 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 we didn't even know what the acts Obama to do for us even if he wanted to. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So then that becomes his issue or our issue? It, it's his issue because he's educated enough to know better. And and the reason I say that is because um, recently with the whole, um, you're familiar with Byron Allen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the situation? That's the first dude to articulate mm -hmm. what we needed. I never heard the term of economic inclusion you, ever in my life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's it. And he happened to throw Obama under the bus. Mm -hmm. And he explained how he was a contributor to Obama. And his ask of Obama, which was specific, all of our ask of Obama, mm -hmm. was like, yo, put us in a position where we could really, really, really get ahead in America. You see what I'm saying? Um, how, how do you think yeah. he was going to do that? And, and what does and, that and mean? With, with, with Byron Allen, that, that's another point. What he said, he said that he asked him, his ask of him was that um, since you're doing the bailout, fine. What I ask of you is to do an audit of all the banks to right. see how many of them are loaning black people money for businesses mm -hmm. and for homes. Not that that was going to make them do anything, but it'll hold them accountable. Now it's going to be on record that, okay, Chase Bank doesn't do this. So now when we rally together and say, hey, let's put our money in a certain bank or put our money in a black bank, it's documented what banks actually cater to the black or, or, or sympathizes to the black plight in America. So by doing that, that would have put us on notice. Like, okay, well, damn, it's laid out right here. All these banks, damn, they do donated... 3%, they donated 14%. Wow, okay, so we could eliminate all these and we could focus there because they're kid to help us gain economic inclusion and empower us, give us loans for businesses, give us loans to get homes, stuff like that. I never thought of that like that. I was thinking, that, you know, the ghetto term, like, yo, give everybody, um, somebody had pitched something about he can um give every adult over 18, like $1,000 a month or some kind of craziness. Some Asian dude, I mean, he's on the Breakfast Club, and he's just trying to do yeah, analytics yeah. to figure out what Obama could do when mm -hmm. it was coming to the bail. I think I was like, I was on that level, like, yeah, $1,000 a month would be you cool. You know what's crazy? It's like the stuff that we expected from Obama, we never expected from no other president. Right. It's like, it's, it was so unfair to him. I, I am highly disappointed in not Obama himself, mm -hmm. in what his hands were so tight and what he was able to do mm -hmm. and the productivity, the production we got from him. Because we didn't get nothing. We didn't okay, get nothing. So I'm asking you a question. What black elite person in any high position has never been held to the same candle that Obama's been held to? I remember working for a for company. Months. I remember working for a company that was um I was the only black employee. Um, it was a telecommunications company, and I was the only black employee. And I remember, like, I, I did. I happened to do my work well. It wasn't like I felt like I was championing for the blacks, but we're always put in that position when you're the top black dude anywhere. So Obama's no different from anyone that's in that position. To okay. your point, no, no, too, right. That's true. Um, I remember remember that summer where, you know, basically we was dying every week by the, by the hands of police, and yeah. Obama held oh, that town can, hall. Do that. You know, Sorry. Obama held the town hall, and that gave me a little bit of hope. I thought he was going to address something or speak to it, and instead... Dudes dragged his own in Texas to his head fell so, off right when Obama was in office. Right. right. But wait, and and but Obama had the, he had the town hall meeting, and it really... He at that point he was listening. He 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 was he was he was supposed to be addressing the point and listening and hearing hearing out the people whatever, and it, and it just looked like a showpiece. Well, it yeah. really didn't look like, and that's why I, when you, that's why I asked you did you feel it was like pen because I agree with you yeah. and and I thought about the, that 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 meeting, and it just felt like it was his way of saying I did something, because he just had a meeting and he, and he you know he sat there and it was just like letting people speak, but it was like he knows this. Uh -huh. You know, if anybody knows well, how we feel about it, he he knew. Under like, his department oh, from Chicago. Chicago. I want to move on to the next person. I don't want to stay on Obama too long. Because yeah. it was, you know, I'm okay. glad we did this, but 
Now, I I'm just giving my opinion. Mm -hmm. It ain't the right opinion, but this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. The problem with us as black people sometimes is, is that like when the white person in the office, like we got Trump in there right now, mm -hmm. who Trump cared about? Who Trump made sure he took care of? This is rich him. people. And what color people? No matter. Rich people. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> rich people. No, no, but the, the reason our Trump got in office is because a lot of the racist people that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not racist people, people oh, yeah. that was concerned about white America, yeah, yeah. they started to vote. Middle America. Middle America. Felt that he I live in Texas. For them, There's yeah. a lot of white people out there. They yeah. don't like the fact that we're catching up to the middle of America. Mm -hmm. Like she said, it's black people that are becoming really financially good and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And Obama, you know, saying he was the first time we got to see something like that. But when it comes to other races, they always make sure they look out for their race first. And Obama didn't do that, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. He, he did it. More, more, he did more not do that. And that's the only thing I have a problem with. Everything else, yeah. like you said. He made it seem like it's achievable. He did that. I agree. All that's cool. Yeah, but, but the, when, fir the first baseball player made it achievable. The first basketball yeah, player but made with, it achievable. With, but even with them, it's, yeah, that's, that's it's, it's really not because now you got he, Trump. He gave us the, the terminology president. black excellence. Mm -hmm. If you think about no, it, he did. It came from behind. Reagan him. Was but the president. what I'm saying is, is that Bush like Junior was the president. The, like, like, of course, like Trump put certain black. litigation in action mm -hmm. where his first people benefit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What I feel with Obama is like black. he got the position, he made black. it seem like it's attainable, like, wow. and that's he basically it. What I'm saying is like, listen, we're not trying to shit on Obama. First black president, bro. That's it. Like I said, I agree with everybody. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. We gonna stay on this all night. Absolutely. All right. So what about about next one, I want to start with ladies this time. Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Oprah, I know Oprah. I see what this is. <laughs> um, an amazing black woman who put that, who put the energy and the time to be a successful black woman in a male-dominated career. Okay, Oprah. Stop out. Okay, uh, help. Oh. Right, to the point. Oprah's a bum. <laughs> 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 a whole bum. Straight up. Like, yeah. y'all, wow. Okay. What about? Oh, disappointed. Oh, okay. <laughs> everybody's on the same page with this one. Okay. We, all, we all agree. She she let us down. I feel like a voice that could have, again, could have said like that. And she's doing, she's in her voice for she's the, doing the, the opposite. Love yeah, she, she's doing her voice for the opposite. I need to write that in my phone. I need to write that down. Definitely a powerful black woman. Definitely did things that was achievable. Yeah, for sure. But she damn sure is that. That's what I'm saying. She got the power. The she one, got the and the thing, I was Team Oprah all day until this Harvey Weinstein yeah, thing, bro. Like yeah. Yo, man, I was I Team like Oprah, him. man. Nah, you know what? Because your you story is crazy. She came up from nothing, from the mud, bro. And then, from nothing, from the and then, mud. And then, I know, but bro, <laughs> she, <laughs> then she and then she fucked us over, bro. That's exactly what happened. Like, you know, like. I got another name on this list who I actually thought the opposite of, and then me and Raji did our research, and I'm gonna see what y'all gonna say about this name bro, first. Let's Oprah ass for 10 minutes too late for Obama. <laughs> no, we're not doing 10 minutes on Oprah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oprah turned on Michael Jackson too. Jackson. She turned yeah. on Michael Jackson. Everybody. She turned on Michael Jackson. She turned on Michael Jackson. She turned on Michael Jackson. I think Michael did it. Hey, even if he did. Mm. Even if he did. I took, okay. I took a course where you had to learn how to identify um, um, predator behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I took this shit, <laughs> you was looking at a lot of people. Oh, we're gonna talk, we, we, we like, talk about him too. Oh, Let's give us a second. I disagree with you I on said, that one. I said Michael did I it. Mm -hmm. I said that's crazy, yo, son. These dudes. It was a program where they had um, convicted pedophiles, and they had to um, give part of their release. They had to give testimony, transparent testimony. Mm -hmm. And these dudes were so regular. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there looking I'm like, I remember the instructor said, "Well, if any time you feel uncomfortable, you need to leave the room. You know, go ahead." So I'm looking like. What are you going to show us? Like, <laughs> turn out like that, but turn the out difference, like that. the difference with Michael, yeah, me I don't know like... whether he did it or not. I really didn't give it too much thought. But mm -hmm. I will say this. We know he wasn't, quote unquote, normal from the mm -hmm. beginning. He, he actually up. did not. It doesn't seem like he evolved or grew with his age. Michael Jackson wasn't the guy walking around the Bronx, punching the old ladies in the face that they got a record that he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't that. Right. No, when I say, it's I don't mean time. crazy, yeah, but we have, we have developmental growth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and we grow so we don't with our age, yeah. so to speak. Right? They didn't okay. switch it up. We're about to get this bell in a minute. Listen, we got our own. The reason is, I'm going to get to your questions. I want to get to your questions. No, you good, bro. Get your point across. Finish what you're saying. What I'm saying is, look, when we talk about when we say these names, Oh, y'all, hold on, look, 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 Josh, hold on, y'all, look. Because these guys... Bro, when we say these names, it's got to be a quick comment. We discuss that person. I want to get to y'all questions. Y'all got questions. Yes, sir. And we don't, we going to be here all night talking about Obama and Oprah. Like, you know what I mean? So, all I'm saying is, is just getting it that way, you know what I'm saying? You know you But finish your point. I want you to finish your point, and then we all... As far as... It was just really as far as when we when we start to analyze people, a lot of times we analyze people from our own growth. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You have to. Mm-hmm. But you but it's that's not that's not viable in society. Mm-hmm. And why it's not viable in society is because what I think is normal is not what you think is normal. And that's the thing. Hold about that. Get, so so again, we have scenarios and and I always go back to I had a twenty three year career mm-hmm. on, on Rikers Island and I had a guy sleep with his sneak his shoes on, right? Mm-hmm. So everybody is in an uproar because he's sleeping with his shoes and he goes in the day room and he takes somebody's Pound cake and chocolate and and milk. Okay. So everybody's in the upgrade. They call me, Cap. You gotta get down here. We're gonna kill this guy. Whatever, whatever. So I get down there. Is the CEOs or the, or the inmates? The inmates were gonna kill him. Okay. And okay. I was a captain at the time. Okay. So the officer yeah. calls me and says, Hey, listen, come down here. They about to get this guy. Whatever. So I go down there and I'm like you in that scenario. Like, yo, why would you take somebody's pound cake? Why would you take somebody's milk? Mm-hmm. And he just kept saying, Well, he left it there. But he left it there. So a normal person would be thinking to themselves. It's, you leave it there, I'm coming back. What's the problem? As I'm talking to this man and talking to this man, you realize he's homeless. Mm-hmm. And so now he's mm-hmm. been homeless for like 12 years. Mm-hmm. You leave something there, it's free it's game. Free, yeah. He mm-hmm. sleeps with his shoes on. His reality is totally okay. different from everybody in that room's reality. So do you as know much as I want you know, to you know analyze him from my on? lens, do you know I, I can't. Do you know I sleep with his shoes on? Why? I'm asking. Do you ever get the information? I have to work in a shelter. Okay. He slept with his shoes on because everything he owned went with him everywhere he goes. Is that he went by take it? Mm-hmm. Right? Everywhere he goes. Yes, he and did. so if somebody leaves something, that exactly. means to him it's, it's a survival you don't instinct. want it. It's a survival exactly. instinct. That's, but it's also a survival instinct, instinct that I mean one we can't compare a homeless man to Michael Jackson. Yeah, but in developmental, you can. But in, I, in developmental, I, 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 you can. Real quick. Yeah. That's my point. Dave Chappelle had the Some best quote. Stuck oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him get his point. You Some people it. get stuck at 18. Yeah. And never grow. Get it, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say, Chappelle, when Chappelle made that quote, so on uh, the, the, I think it was Inside the Actors Guild when he was and they was ta- he was talking about um, when Martin Lawrence when they called Martin crazy they called Mariah crazy they called Britney Spears crazy. He, he, was crazy. Like, he was like you know calling someone crazy is, is the worst thing you can do about people in Hollywood because it just dismisses anything they went through. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the that's the that's the point you're making. It's like you we, we have to first identify get, identify with the person mm-hmm. and what they've been through. Yeah, situation si- situational and, and we can't like you said we can't just well me that's you know, to me that's I wouldn't do I would never. It was like but you're not him. That's like saying if I can do it. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. I, 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 I think it's this yeah. when you break it down like that, mm-hmm. we're not gonna have the time, especially gathering data to go through every individual. So you gotta have a general. You have a common courtesy. You gotta have a certain For kind sure. of a common et- 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 etiquette. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like for That's instance, true. I mean, I've never been to jail, but y'all probably should let them whip his ass for taking that pound cake. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Because he wouldn't do it again. That's not true. Because his, that's not true. You think they whipped his ass for taking a pound cake? All right, we change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. We'll come back Next name. I think he Next name. We'll start with y'all. Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry. You got all the coons first, man. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. <laughs> a great actor. That's yeah. The first thing. <laughs> In my opinion. Her opinion. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. Okay. Yeah. I got an opinion. I think that he's a great actor. Man. What's your favorite role, of Tyler Perry? <laughs> <laughs> I have mixed feelings about Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like he is a coon. Mm. Like he is a. But then I feel. Oh, and then not even but because I don't want to erase that. I feel like he is like a sellout. And on the other hand, what he's doing and what he's done is just really phenomenal and remarkable. How he took, you know, like the building that his his, his studio right now and mm-hmm. what it was before, and how he's just like turning such a negative history into a positive thing. And then, you know, like no one else owns their own studios and stuff like that. So he's really he's doing big things. There's no thing you're killing me about the studio thing, which is dope. And I'm gonna shoot a movie with these cameras they got right here. Mm-hmm. But how you gonna distribute them? See, we, we, we can get the studio. We got the car, but I say having a Lamborghini, but you live in a project. You don't have a house. Yeah, it's not that you don't have a house. It's that you can't protect your car. You can't pull up in your driveway where it's your property. See, I don't care if you have Lamborghini projects. If you know they respect you enough, they won't touch it. Okay. Then how your Lamborghini? Does he have distribution? I don't know. No, there is no black distribution. Oh, and I think yeah, he doesn't no, have no, distribution. Really, no, yeah. like does he does he control his distribution? He controls making the movies. I don't know if he controls his distribution. Okay. Yes, I'm saying they only publicize that he can make the movies. He in the has studio, a deal right now dope. with BET and Viacom, Viacom. For, for the distribution, and he controls the BET streaming app, mm-hmm. and he's gonna put a lot of a lot of uh, okay. uh, movies and stuff through there. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how much of it is him. But check it. But so when last time you watched the Air Best film and enjoyed it? 
What his movies? Arabesque film. That's the oh, Arab, oh, Arab, oh the, uh, not not often. So not what's often. your word? What's your so word? So Tyler Perry, how you feel what's about your him? word? Tyler Perry. God bless him, man. Because <laughs> I know what it is. I don't think I, I I can't tell how much is reality, how much is sens- sensationalism. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 we love the story. We love to look good. I'm so tired of looking good. I want to be good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to be able to look. I want to know I can be my pound cake, and you don't take it. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. I'm right. I, I don't know enough about him yeah. and his story, but I know he's a good businessman from what I yeah, can yeah. see I with regard to the real estate aspect. Yeah. And you know, that's that's what I was going to touch on. Tyler so the, real, the real estate aspect of it, um, you know, we talk about owning masters, we talk about ownership, um, but we forget to talk about things that we own that make money. Um, Kanye brags about owning land in, you know, Oklahoma or whatever. There's nothing there. Tyler owns a bunch of land that makes money over hand over fist. Black Panther was filmed there. Um, everything is filmed in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. whether, again, whether he's, you know, distributing and producing it, they're going to him. No, no, to, I'm, you know, I'm to make sure that it get out. You know what I'm saying? That it get out. Like, if, if, if we can't have... Like we don't own the theaters where they're being shown stuff like that, and we can't get the movie shown to the people. And that's and that's the next step for someone I make, else to, do. to make them. Yeah, I, I, I that's that's a, right. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, everybody, that's everybody, right. okay. everybody yeah. has a place. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I look at Dame Dash. He has a, a streaming network. Yeah. Um, and he's trying to to get to that. You know, a lot of people clown Dame because Dame. he's not. Is Dame Dash on our list? He, nah. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad we brought him up. Yeah, yeah, Dame, 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 with too hard Dame on the does it with his money. You know, we don't get an empire without Dame and, 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 and um, Precious. You know, he gave, uh, um, what's his name, the money the to Dame. start that yeah, up. Yeah, Dame, yeah. Dame that doesn't have a that. being Powerful. alone, being a bank for people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And now he has his own network and, and he's like, you know, he, he, he put it out there, no disrespect to Revolt and Diddy. But he's like, you know, it's not 24 hours, it's, 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 it's you know, certain mechanics behind it. Dame was like, this is me. Mm-hmm. So we got people that are doing that. Yeah. But to, to focus on Tyler, you know, that land itself, you know, Atlanta. It's equity, bro. Yeah, That's right. right. Oh, Atlanta yeah. It was, was, became a place where everybody was going to film because of the tax credits they get from, you know, filming there and yada, yada. Uh-huh. And he's like, but he got, the, he got the place to go to to film now. He got, you know, I think they said it's like Warner Brothers, such and such, and, you know, three movie studios combined size-wise. So they're filming everything there. Disney's going to him. You know, Warner Brothers is going to him. Viacom's going, everybody's going to him. And oh. I think that ownership in itself is is, is, a, is a big deal. I'm not a fan yeah. of Medea. I'm not a fan Medea. of none yeah. of those movies. Yeah, but him, use, him taking hey, that, starting from the Beacon mm-hmm. Theater mm-hmm. to Tyler Perry Studios, yeah. that's Absolutely. huge. All right, yeah, so let's check huge. this out. We got one more person, and then I'm going to, you know, because the thing is, I'm going to have time, y'all, in response. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't know. be giving us polarizing people. The last person. Gonna be just the last great. person. <laughs> he used the platform. Oh, that, exactly. I know. That's what it is. That's, that's what I was going to say. But the last person... Because one of the people that's watching right now has a problem with this person. Uh-oh. And at first I did, but then I realized I had to re- re- um, catch myself. Good. So it's Jay-Z. What Jay-Z. you think about Jay-Z? Uh, Jay-Z has been who he said he's been throughout all his music. Uh, he's, he's, he's a capitalist. He's been about money. Nah, that's hard. He's been about money. Um, he says it in a way that we love it. You know what I mean? But he's been about money. He took Rockefeller from Dame and them. He took, Yo, you know, he he's been about the dollar me. bill for, for the day one. So when I he did the deal with the NFL, chest. it didn't surprise me. Nothing he does now surprises me. Him being a billionaire is a big deal. I, you know, he said he was going to do it. So capitalist. Capitalist. all about the money. Jay-Z. Smart. That's you. That's you. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, question, though, bro. He's yeah. smart. Um, I appreciate him. Um, I appreciate what he represents. And and never act like he didn't do the things that he did in his past. Yeah. He stayed true to that. He moved from the streets to the boardroom. And he's now putting things in position to help others get in position. So that's from what I know. So we get to your question. That's from what I know. And so my cousin would kill me. Good. <laughs> nah, ho hove hove is um Interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I know he's a. Um, I'm not into astrology hub. I know he's a Sag, mm-hmm. and I know that people have their issues with him. So, uh, me being a Sag, it makes I'll me wonder too. what do they do to him. <laughs> because, cause, 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 but, and I'm gonna say that because I'm a very vengeful spirit. <laughs> I never got my way to 
stop my progress to bother anything. But if I get an opportunity to get you back, he's just not. Not to I'm, cut you off, so somebody says he's just not for our people as a whole. Nah, that I was know. the whole point. I can't say about as a whole. And, and, so. What I'm going to say is, I'm going to try to hurry up and get this answer so we can get to y'all questions. They said he's so not basically, for our how do you feel about Jay Z? I think Jay Z is God walking planet Earth in the flesh. Wow. <laughs> how do you feel about Jay Z? I feel like Jay Z is legendary. I, I, I don't know about God walking planet Earth. But I feel like he, he is definitely for our people. Um, whoever is saying that, they don't understand. Like a lot of people were saying, why is he sitting down with the NFL? First of all, um, can you get a seat there? Yep. Like somebody got to get us in the door for us to be able to do stuff like all that. Right. Jay-Z's How amazing. do you feel about Jay? He's a great businessman. That's it. All right, so look, we gonna these names. It kind of, I, I, I thought this was gonna be like ten minutes. It actually went up to a half hour. But uh, what I was gonna say is, so these names kind of all like polarizing. Yeah, they all polarizing black people in the community. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, the thing about it's not it's not our fuck the seat. See, the thing is, uh, you're right. It is like because one of my friends, she has her own podcast, mm-hmm. and she's saying that why do we always have to sit at their seat? But hold on, okay. Say it again, say it again, why do we always have to sit at the table with those people? Now we can't make our own table. Mm-hmm. But she's right. She's mm-hmm. absolutely right. Mm-hmm. But in this in this cup in the world that we live in today, there's only two options for that. Either a we kill everybody off. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to kill them all because they're they going to kill us once we, yeah, they gonna, we either kill them all and separate ourselves mm-hmm. and do it ourselves. Dr. Muhammad spoke about that mm-hmm. you have, Or you got to join the table and finagle our way in there and make it benefit us. Well, I do So yeah, I, with Jay-Z I and Tyler thing. Perry, yeah. what they did was, especially Tyler Perry, because at first I could not stand Tyler Perry. <laughs> and then me and Watson, agreed, then he, agreed. Yo, me and him watched a documentary on this dude. Yeah. And how many kids that's in the inner youth mm-hmm. that was on the street that he took off the street, mm-hmm. they, they didn't even know they had talent. Mm-hmm. And he was, yo, right. free mm-hmm. tuition. Mm-hmm. Yo, you come in here, you gonna learn how to be a, you gonna learn how to, you gonna learn how to do to be a director. Yo, thing. go on YouTube, oh, yeah, YouTube, yeah, yeah. when he opened up that. He did it. Yo. It's just, when he opened up the, when he opened up the studios, they all named after like, like, black we people. Junior. Every studio's named after, every studio's named after, uh, if, it, uh, in, in, how you say, influential black person. Mm-hmm. It was Sidney Poitier. Mm-hmm. It was all of the black legends that we had, right? But the main thing he was doing was with the youth, he was bringing them in and he's gonna sit next to you, okay? That's Rick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, get a chair and sit right there. So basically, what he was doing is he's basically getting the youth mm-hmm. involved and trying to better themselves, get them out, this, out the hood. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't can't be a rapper. Mm-hmm. Everybody can't be a basketball player. Mm-hmm. But teaching them business, he's mm-hmm. teaching them all these type of things. He bought that mm-hmm. land at, mm-hmm. on purpose mm-hmm. because there used to be, you know, plantation. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? All that type land. of stuff. Confederate mm-hmm. land. Confederate. Right? It used to be a that message alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 Confederate it's, base. Yeah. Confederate Eventually, what's gonna happen is they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna Downplay him. They're gonna downplay him. <laughs> and with Jay Z, mm-hmm. the last thing we're gonna change it because we got these questions. With Jay, mm-hmm. the only thing I gotta say about with Jay is another one. One of my favorite rappers of all time. Probably mm-hmm. t- he's top three, hands down. But the problem is, at not first I was like, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. But you're not. We're not supposed to get it, bro. Mm-hmm. Everybody, you know, the plan behind the plan is to get in the door. You know what I'm saying? The whole Michael Vick shit. How they wanted to stop Michael Vick from listening to him. Um, being the Pro Bowl thing. Because he had a four, he fought dogs, bro. Mm-hmm. Right? But we got people shooting unarmed black men every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the issue is that we got to sometimes look. We got to look. I always see stuff like like you said, brothers and Sag. The reason why Sag and Gemini's get along is because we see the picture. <laughs> Ten times, I see it. Ten, I see it. Ten steps ahead. Mm-hmm. I don't see it right there in front of my face. So yeah. I see kind of what Jay Z's trying to do. He's got a fina- He gonna have to finagle with these KKK guys. So question, get in there. Go ahead. What is he trying to do? He's trying to infiltrate that and get us a voice, bro. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you. I, we, I guarantee you next know. five. Come on, look up. I put you this. Okay. And we can make a bet. Want to bet? No. I bet you next five years we a black person on the NFL team. I, get, I, I, got I guarantee. If that happens, with who, who influenced that? Mm-hmm. I don't know how much that, how big a deal. I mean, we got, you know, Bob Johnson owned the Bobcats. Michael Jordan ended up getting them. We got, my, we got, we got owners, you know. And they can be shit on Michael Jordan, by the way, too. I know, that's, but that's what I'm saying. So getting an owner in the NFL means what? That can show that it could be done, bro. Like, you know, it has not been that, done. That goes full circle to what we've been saying about though. Obama and, you know, saying what well, Yeah, what does it make to the masses of us? But, right, that's what I'm saying. Though. I mean, huh? not just owning the team, owning the NFL that own the team. So yeah. There's a big difference between owning the office, bit office. Yeah, well, no one's going to really own the NFL because there's a whole bunch of owners. Saying. We're going to get an owner, but, but, but what I'm saying is, is that the yeah, fact that even if we keep saying what is it going to do, mm-hmm. either, like I said, there's only two options. Because the NFL, why, why do we hold so much weight on, on the NFL? We can start our own league. Right. But <laughs> let me ask you a question. Mike, Vince, Vince, Vince McMahon is doing it. But I know. Master P tried to do that. I know, but let me ask you a question. He never gets the support. Okay, the answer is question, How's that going to work? We don't support him. How's that going to work? 
How is what going to work? We got to become separatists. That's what I'm saying. There's only two ways you're going to do it. We give the support to our people. We have black Jay-Z, when, when Dame had Rockaway and they was had Rockaway, Jay-Z was saying, Izzard, mm-hmm. why are you promoting another brand? When they had Armadale, he's promoting Crystal. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep, I'll give you that. Keep, so, you got to, he, he, what, his, that's why I say capitalist. He's about the check. Mm-hmm. He's not about writing the check always. See, okay. A lot of times I he's think about getting the Jay-Z check. and new Jay-Z is different. I think he took some growing because I see the, I see a big difference in Jay-Z now. Like what he was saying, um, Chris Style and stuff like that. The mm-hmm. Jay-Z now, I think mm-hmm. he's very strategic. Um, no, 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 but think, he was with a team he's saying before. Yeah, because right. even now with titles, yeah, he, he just put his, he had his masters. He just put his whole catalog on Spotify. he was a team, Jay-Z was Jay-Z. That's what he said, yo. Like Jay-Z said, though. As I said. She said, if you can find another Jay-Z, find another there you one. Go. Like Jay-Z and Dame Dash also was getting cocky. Right. He was getting, he said he made him. Like I said, that, 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 that was that's that's part of the deal. I wouldn't say he made him, but he, he supported him. He helped him. He helped him. Yeah, but we can't that's, so we can't, that's, that's not a good example. No, that's a bad example. That's a bad example. That's what you said. Hold on, everybody can't talk at the same time. And we got, and we selling water, and you selling your own, You not even your own, you pitching the other water, you foul. Right. We got our own that's water here. That's what I'm saying about At the same time, yeah. you also foul by telling me I'm the talent, and you're telling me you made me. But look, also, no, he but said also, that. He said, "Yo, if you can make another, G, make another Jay Z." We talk of business and film. Regardless, yeah. yo, but he got Jay Z is the business. He is the business, he is the business though. So, so stop like, promoting somebody else. We are selling this water. We got our own. We we have our own chain to promote that. You think I'm? We already selling this water. This check is coming. Why would I stop my next check? Because we got promote, that. We got, promote this. We got, got promote that. This. We, we need to. We got our own. We need to compete. stop me from doing no, it. No, we need to compete, Cristal. So, out. Yeah. We, we, we better than Cristal. What I'm we saying to y'all is, what I'm saying, he has that we're, we're talking about We're talking the same thing. Yeah. What I'm saying is, I think Jay Z also did that because the arrogance of somebody to say that, oh, you know, I can get another Jay Z. That's why he said, find another one. That's a no, but bro, no, 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 no. Listen, why does Wu Wei never be successful? Why do you? Okay, I got you. Wu not. Bro, bro. We don't wear, we look down on why is, Boo Why, why do you wear Rockwell? Hold on. Why, 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 why do you wear Rockwell? Huh? Why you wear Rockwell? Jay-Z. Because of Jay-Z. Yeah, that's the business, bro. He's the business. But he's telling me to also so, wear something you know how else. Just, and then that's why Rockwell is not successful. Because you're, t- you're telling me you can find another Jay-Z. No, he didn't say that. He, he's telling you, yo, we got a brand. Stop talking about somebody else's brand. But no, when I, no, no. Jay-Z made it seem, no, this is what Jay-Z was saying. He was saying that he felt as if like he was like. Jay-Z Dame, said this? He was saying that he felt like Dame was making it feel like he was replaceable, bro. When he said this at? When, when did Dame say he was replaceable? Jay never talks about nothing. When Jay-Z said. Right. Jay Make said it in Law School. He, 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 he said it all the time. Jay's okay. lyrics. When did Dame say that? Okay. When did Dame say that? Right, right, we're talking about individual people. Let's talk about business on a whole. Yes. So it's something we have to remember. Something that we have to remember. Even if we only, if black people all supported a thing, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. it still might not be successful. Why? We are not the majority population in this country. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, so if every black person voted for one person, guess what? They still won't win. That's a fact. But what about the fact? But they right? still won't win. But what about consumers? consumers? So what I'm trying yeah. to yeah. say, though, is yeah. 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 who's the biggest consumer? What I'm trying to say, when we start dealing with business, though, we have to make our business not only right, appealing man. to us only. Look, I'm sorry. Our business has to be appealing to all. We got to stop it. We're going to have to do is you want to come back to this guy. We are what? <laughs> but I will never get to y'all questions because y'all have, and there's a lot of questions here. Exactly. So we, 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 control, control. we control. We are the biggest tomb in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, not, not the world. Yeah, no, we are. We're bigger than France. You know, what I'm saying? no, as black people, black you know, people buy more merchandise than any tomb in the world. And we influence. And I'm gonna ask you that, and you might have a good answer. How many white friends do you have? Not many. And that's the problem because I had a white client tell me that one time, and I got tight, and he was right. He said, you need more white friends. Because we constantly speaking about what white, white, and we don't even know enough white people to even make that assumption. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? But like, what, I, what white people you know to know how white people really yo, do things? Let me tell what you white this. homes are you in <laughs> where you really know what's going on? Let at me the tell you this. Me because Roger, I can I, tell you from experience. Yeah, not, not just that. But the other day, uh, I told Roger about this. A guy that owns, uh, like, all right, I used to work at Micro Center. Everybody knows that. So Micro Center is like a, you know, like a business or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this Jewish guy, he was outside smoking a cigarette, so I'm standing outside. And he had the nerve. I think I said this the other day when you was here. He had the nerve to come up to me and say, you know what the problem with black people is? <laughs> That's a great way to start. And I just looked at it. He said, y'all don't know y'all worth. He, I mean, yeah, he said that, yo, y'all the biggest consumer in the world. Whenever y'all say something is trendy, mm-hmm. it gets bought. Mm-hmm. Yo, no matter what. Gucci ain't, what, what commercials do you really see from Gucci? Mm-hmm. Black oh, people yeah. promote that shit so much yeah. that Gucci's lit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the problem. Lit without black people. But let's let's I know, about, that's what I'm saying. But let's talk about why it is. Because uh, uh, right? we, we can trade, create the culture, like you were saying. Oh, yeah, but all of these big brands, they pour their money into the hip hop music. Of course, that's You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's,
He sent a goddamn tr um, tr a trailer mm -hmm. to the hood and left it unlocked so they could steal it mm -hmm. and just give it out. That was brilliant. That's, that's they, act, they act that's like they act like they got stolen, like, mm -hmm. and they act like the boosters got it. Right. Mm -hmm. and he left it open so they could really go in and steal it, and just so like almost like coming to America. Remember that scene that coming to America? <laughs> oh, they took right, the right, luggage. Right, right, right. <laughs> Crazy. Right. Right. But listen, okay, let's get off this. Because now I'm like, let's get some questions. That, cause I'm gonna let's get some real questions. <laughs> get, listen, I should have even did that, but it was actually <laughs> fun though. It was fun. I mean, you know. Okay, so look, these are questions I asked y'all to write. I didn't actually write no questions this time. Okay. I didn't write none. These are all the questions y'all told me I wanted to talk about. So we're gonna get to them. Perfect. All right, cool. I'm gonna start with Deanna because Deanna over here quiet. She ain't say nothing. So, if someone in your family, if someone in your family is starting a business, why is it so hard for that, per that, that family to support that business? I had, to reword your, I had to reword the question that the person wrote. Kind of yeah. go back to what we were kind of yeah. saying just now. So, good. All right, so. How do you feel that? Why do you feel that's the reason? So, for me personally, like I, I'm 24 and it's hard to have my family support me, mm -hmm. but they will support other people in a heartbeat mm -hmm. and strangers will support me faster than my family mm -hmm. that's a problem for me mm -hmm. because I'm the only child I think it's different if you have like siblings and stuff your siblings are gonna support you mm -hmm. but because I don't have any siblings I tend to lean on my cousins my aunts because that's who I grew up with that's who I'm close to I yeah. just told all my little cousins they're the same age as you that y'all are crazy if y'all don't go try to start some businesses right now and I hope you all failing your first attempt so you can learn a lesson and perfect your business. But right point, now we point, pay your yeah. business. So for me, I I failed my first three months of my business. Yeah, you like, know. and I crashed hard because I was so focused on my family supporting me mm -hmm. that I didn't really focus on what my business was about. Mm -hmm. So now I'm relaunching my business in 2020, and now it's like, all right, you know what to do, you know what not to do. But that support from mm -hmm. a family. Having that support there is important mm -hmm. to a first-time black business owner. Well, why did your business fail the first time? My business failed the first time. Like I said, I wasn't focused. Like, my focus, I it's like, I did it for attention. I did my business the first time for attention. attention so that way, from my family. Mm. Okay, but what kind of attention? You're saying the type of attention. Of is, is this is the graphic design business? Correct. So okay. I failed the first time. Mm -hmm. I started it. Earlier so, this so, year. So you walk away to say, I'm going to do a graphic design business, so mommy give me a hug? No. Okay. What support were you no. saying? That's what I'm saying. The type of support I was looking just for my family to be like, yo, I got you. Got you. Yo, yeah. like, you what does that mean? Yeah, what what does I got you mean? Like, meaning if I'm in a position where I need support. What need do your family have for a graphic designer? Like, my pop-up, like, for example, I do, do pop-up shops for other people. Right? I would like my family to be there. She means just support. So that's what you mean by support. support. Okay. Physical support. I'm trying to figure out what you yes. mean by support. Like physical support. support. Attack you. I want to know. Right. No, no, no. I don't feel attacked at all. Physical support. All right. So look. That's your question, right? So I want y'all to give her an answer. That's what I'm saying. Oh she, that's the question she had. Mm -hmm. I have an I, answer. I, I, I definitely got an answer, too. An yeah, but I, I want everybody to go, 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 go around. We got to go around. We got to go around. So go. Oh. What do you think? She, what, what would you give her advice? What advice would you give uh, Support is not a business system. Yeah. So, um, and you know that. Like, we, we do business together. And like you said, if you had siblings, no, they wouldn't support you. I'm the baby of eight. Mm -hmm. My siblings don't support me. Right. So it's like support is not a business system. You want those. Yeah. Come up with a business system. Come up with a business system. And let's get your friends like me who are going to do it. And let's go out there and promote it. Let's go try trial and error. Trial and error will get better. And mm -hmm. what happened when your family do see it pop? They're gonna come. Oh, they're gonna yeah. come. Mm -hmm. yeah. They love uh, you. Make it quick. If you got an answer to it, make it quick. We yeah. got two minutes. I'm gonna go through everybody's questions. So cool. Yeah. So really quickly. Um, business is about relationships, mm -hmm. whether it's family or not family. So the relationships you build, whether it's obviously it's more towards like your cousins and your aunts, that's what's going to support right. you. So, you know, you're going to see more of your get back on the back end. Like, like she said, when you, when you continue to do it, work your material, you have your proposal and then people see that you're mm -hmm. serious. Maybe it takes a different angle for your family to see that you're serious. Maybe right. there's something that they're looking for that they don't see, see right it. on mm -hmm. the surface. But when they do, you have to continue to work your material until they come around. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't focus so much on that right. particular support mm -hmm. at this point because it's a part of your journey. Right. Facts. That's a great answer. Yeah. Yeah. Justice. Right. Quick. I was just saying the same. People going to say variations of the same thing. Um, they didn't recognize what you were doing and you didn't communicate clearly what you were doing. So, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I'm asking you, like, why? We, oh, actually, specifically, like, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? And you're like, well, I be clear. Like, yo, listen, I had a pop up shop. It would be simple. It would have been a lot to me if y'all guys came out today. Facts. Mm -hmm. so, what you, what that you simple. 
in most cases, you gotta you gotta ask for what you want. That's number one. Number two, never when you're starting a business, it's your business. <laughs> And like she said, you have a business plan, you're going to pitch to investors, and they're going to say yes, or they're going to say no. Right. Now, some investors will say, I can't invest money, but I can invest time. Some people will say, I can't do nothing. You move on. Right. You don't rely Somebody on others for your business. Mm -hmm. And don't take it personal. <laughs> it's business. Yeah. And not to personalize your answer like we most did, but in general, um, a lot of times those closest to you can be envious of you. Um, you know what I'm saying? That could happen too, where someone yeah. sees you doing something, and 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 in your face, they're like, "Oh yeah, good job." Behind your back, I hope it failed. Now, be careful of assuming that. I mean, right? of course, of I got super answer. Because I mean, what you don't want to do is just, "Oh, they're not supporting me, so they must be hating." You don't want to do that either. But but, but and that's what I was gonna say to you know to continue that. Is, you know, you can't focus on that. Like 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 he, like he, you even said it in the in the question. A lot of times you're you're gonna get more love and support from strangers because it may appeal to them directly. They don't know you personally. They're looking at what you're doing, and I like that, it, however they came across it. Mm -hmm. So that's what you should focus on. Right. Facts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, that's going. the key right Not there. Strangers, whoever, that's, you, just, you, just want, you, know, you just want fans. You just want, you know. Yeah. Similar answer to that. I had the same problem. I got multiple businesses. I do this. Mm -hmm. I do, I shoot people videos. I got, I manage artists. Real question, this is it. Blood don't make you family. Right. At the end of the day, you can't worry about it. At the end of the day, blood don't make you family. Whoever supports you is your family, bro. Right. That's it. It's hard at first because you got love for that person because they mm -hmm. got your blood. Mm -hmm. But blood don't make you family. Right. That's once you get that in your head, it's you win. Don't blood don't make you family. It don't take it personal. personal. No, yeah. once you but once you realize that, mm -hmm. you won't take it personal. Yeah. Blood don't make you family. Right. They got their own thing going on. Right. I articulated what I'm doing. They don't not, not saying they maybe don't support it. Maybe they're not into it. Like Justice right. was saying. Right. Yeah. Don't be you know what I mean? No, no, I asked them. That's the yeah. thing. And then that's it's okay like a constant that. like yeah. fight and then like my last one I didn't do it at all. Because it was like that growth. Like, remember being, I told like, you, don't, yeah, don't like worry about like, it. Like, but don't yo, be upset. Yeah, right. don't let it, don't let it, don't let it, don't let it kill right. your thunder, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that's what it's happened like, to me initially. Mm -hmm. It'll kill your creativity. Mm -hmm. It'll make you feel like I'm doing something wrong. You think about but then you look how many people yeah. that don't know you right. that support you. Focus that on means, them. like I said once again, blood don't make family. That's just focus on your following. Shout out to my family. I do support my mother. She on here right now. My sister. They support. You know what I'm saying? Justice is family. I know this thing for years. You know what I'm saying? So Paul, I support everything you do. Yeah, everything. Like you know what I'm saying. Paul do too. Paul do my videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rick been to my shit at all of y'all. So going with a video. Yeah, yeah. Anything. So yeah. Yeah. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta look outside of your family. Yeah, ain't got a shit in your family. I consider y'all all family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know you that long, but you family. Fuck it. Because I feel conversation me and you done had. So like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. So this is how it has to be. So we gonna ask the next question was, well no, actually I think if this is your question, I just mixed them up, so why is the African American financial experience difference now that females are more independent? Right? Oh, why is the African American financial experience different? Period. Okay, okay. Why is African so why is African American or how is it different? Why? 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 I mean, elaborate a little bit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Elaborate. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. Um first of all, money money, I'm going to use the word money, finance, cash, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like a taboo to talk about in our home. Like, our parents wasn't talking to us about money. It's like they were scared mm -hmm. to let us know how much they had or what Yo, they were. That's so it's, real. It's, um, it was like we were scared to talk about money. Why? Because I feel like we started out with none. Mm -hmm. Like, so not only that, also we have like a, um, we are hustlers. We have this, Swag. this hustler yeah. mentality. Yeah. 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 Like, mm -hmm. about awesome, us. It's like we have to <laughs> not struggle for us to 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 make it, but it's like we we don't come out with a game plan, and we don't we don't even see ourselves like we were talking about the Obama thing. We can't see ourselves owning the the Trump towers or owning the big companies or the big corporations. Like we we see ourselves beneath or less than, or we see mm -hmm. we see ourselves working for other people and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So money, um, why is the financial experience different? Because I think money was like almost taboo in our house. No one so you said why is it different? Yeah, in comparison to other races, other races, other yeah. Go ahead, bro. Go Simply is, I mean, I come from an education uh, perspective because I've been, you know, educating youth now for over twenty years, and I can tell you that it's about, um, it's about school, right? So we we're growing up to go to school and get good jobs and get our four hundred one ks and punch mm -hmm. our clocks and go home, mm -hmm. right? Um, I didn't learn about four hundred one k plans until I was damn near thirty. Mm -hmm. So if the education system has built is built around us being workers, mm -hmm. we will never be think thought to own, and we'll never be thought to 
um, be able to just create kind of like empires or even dream that big. We're, we're trained as individuals that we're only good at two things, sports and entertainment, mm -hmm. right? And if we know that those are very, you know, small lanes that we could get into. So the whole idea of us, you know, being able to create a job or great jobs for people it doesn't get taken seriously it almost your question almost answers the question of the young lady beside you right it's like it's not taken we're not taken seriously to be able to own or to do those things we, we're, we're raised to kind of like work with school if you think about you know education system we're learning about nothing nothing that has to do with ownership nothing. absolutely nothing but, but, and I want to say something to that right because mm -hmm. we are the education system I could say is kind of um, universal mm -hmm. most races are getting the same education but why is finance different in our house than their house like in the mm -hmm. Asian household mm -hmm. um, I learned this um, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Asian, most Asians, mm -hmm. Asia, P Asian people background, when they come to America, do they own stuff or they work for people? They own it. They own, they own it. Own. Why is that? Because they, they study money. It's, 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 it's also the culture. The they're raised by their, mm -hmm. their family. One of the things that the Jewish guy, another thing this guy said, and that's why I said, I'm going to bring him on the show. Because he, he's he's actually, he's a cool dude. I was talking to him. One of the things he said is I don't that. I think he's that cool, though. Nah, he, no. <laughs> he's cool enough. The fact that he even said this shit, I, I, I respect somebody that can say it to your face, bro. And the fact that he, he was saying this, I said, yo, you can say that, but teach me what, what you feel, that what it is. It's what you know what I'm saying? What you think. And I'll, do, I'll decipher it my own show. way. I'm gonna be no, I'm going to bring him in. Because <laughs> he said he would love to come on so it's not a problem <laughs> but he was just saying that basically with us it's like when we get something we sell it when we when we when we when we, when we, when we have financial we spend it we don't save we don't teach kids the value of saying it is true because like you know not all of us because my family my father taught me that and i'm different from everybody else but the, when i see the youth like you said mm -hmm. i ain't know nothing my father told me about 41k to he had the, he had annuities and he had he had iras and he had all of that so i knew about that i had the head start so i have those already you know what i'm saying but a lot of us don't get that, and it's the truth what but, you were saying. Well, why? What? Because it's, like it's not. It's not. For some reason, it's not ingrained Man, in our culture to teach it as you. Come, we are born from a culture that think investments is playing lotto. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know that's saying? the problem. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. We think everything with us is a lottery. Sports, <laughs> mm -hmm. the numbers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lotto. Mm -hmm. When it's attainable. It's just attainable, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like, no, people talk about lotto like like they really think they got the winning number or they going to win in 2020 mm -hmm. at some point like. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. that's that's right. Bro, that's my we, point. We come from a culture <laughs> where, 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 where we, we, we value um, status <laughs> symbols mm -hmm. more than people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I, you know what's crazy? Last night, oh man, I went to, I went to visit somebody. He's doing, no, he's going through something. He had a guest. And the lady came to visit him too. And um, I hope I don't get trouble talking about this. So I'm trying not to be too specific. But she went on and on and on bragging about her life, which is cool, you know what I mean? But I just made six figures. I just made this. Um, I, I went to seven countries this year. I'm in, no, I'm embellishing. I did blah, blah, blah. I, um, so the dude had asked her, he said, wow, you're doing six figures now? Good for you. So you driving the car you finally want? Just on something, like, yeah, that's good for you. Like, she's like, well, no. And then she was like, um, long story short, she's a 50-plus-year-old woman. She's... She hangs out with her kids, which I thought was cool, but I realized that she's a lonely old lady that everything about her is eating at a fancy restaurant and what she spent money on mm -hmm. and how much money she got and how much more she thought she had than us. I keep I'm in the pocket. Everybody know, that know me know my whatever, but it was never nothing about bettering her. Like, like when, when I say, so, you know, like, you know, when you go out when she does, when she does do things alone, I mean, outside her kids, it's alone. And I thought I, 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 I got so bored. I started watching the impeachment shit. Like, man, this lady's crazy. Be like, she's, 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 she's like, like I said, I'm trying to cut you off, bro. But I want to make sure everybody get their little so. Yeah. So to answer the question, yes, I right. believe I believe that it was a 300 year uh, ingraining mm -hmm. to where we're now, maybe a hundred, a hundred and fifty years outside that we can think for ourselves. So, 150 when you, years being get it yet? It, it, yeah. But if, it, if something takes 400 years to get to you, it's gonna take longer or at least mm -hmm. that amount of time for you to it's offset it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. right. So, so, so the black president couldn't identify that? No. That's only one black president. You need 43 more. Yeah. But he got the attention of everybody. Right? But, but follow me, hold on, let me finish, right? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, it has been ingrained in our traditions. Mm -hmm. it, what we believe is a tradition, was a, a life necessity. It was a life or death situation for, for our ancestors, right? Mm -hmm. 
It was life or death that they did the things they did. But why did they say, listen, don't tell, why do your, our family say, don't tell my business out in the street? You know what that came from? That came from it's the fact slavery. that. In, in the slave household, uh -huh. if we was about to escape and you told this person they gonna go back and tell the master, uh -huh. now you're gonna get you're gonna get these people killed. That, that so it was a it was a uh -huh. it comes from those things, uh -huh. right? And so I, I say that to say, now that we know better, we have to do better, and uh -huh. each generation has to then instead of saying why is it not. Make sure that it is. So let's cool. do a timeline. Cool. How many generations do you think it's gonna take to over? No, but I'm, we got nothing. Uh, that, yeah, that's not we gotta at least meet it. Equal, and then go further. Well, How many generations you think it'll take? Again, I agree with everybody. You got to keep going last. Um, another thing is when you think about it, like <laughs> you look at you look at like uh, Bill Gates. You know what I mean? He he wears sketches, blue jeans, drive a Prius. Mm -hmm. We going hard to get a Maybach. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So we we again, like we all said before, we the number one consumers. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. we, we don't really do the. We're not looking to do the footwork. You know what I'm saying to, to to earn stuff or you know grow stuff or make stuff. We just we just were so built on, you know, buying and 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 the names and what it means and how I'm gonna look, mm -hmm. having it because mm -hmm. you don't have that. Because we never had it. Because we never had design. it. So and, and, right. Right. That's 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 real. Yeah. Is. But like 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 Kanye said, you know, just to be like nigga, you ain't up on this. Mm -hmm. I got it. You don't. You know, and we and we too caught up on that. Where is you know, the that, other that, side that, doesn't cherish that? That's crazy too. Because two kids could be poor. Mm -hmm. You got Jordans, I don't, and you call me a bum, and we both live in the project. Right, mm -hmm. right. But I got Jordans. But you're not. And that's the, and that's, the, and that's the problem. And that we we that's hold so, so much value on, and crazy. You know, but not from a kid's mind. From the adults that witness this, that don't check that. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? But see, that's the thing. Like you gotta like like we have the see. You gotta, the thing is that I think a lot of times like black people like you know like. We don't believe that like it's it's, it's systematic. It's mm -hmm. systematic, bro. Yeah. You know, I had Raji today, and, like, and, and I'm throwing you under the bus a little bit. I don't care. I was like, yo, bro, because we doing the show today. I was like, yo, bro, you know what the Willie Lynch syndrome is? You know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah can y'all speak, well, yeah, 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 yeah. speak to it? Or theory? Yeah. Can you speak to it? Can you speak to it? What did he? What, 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 yeah, the letter. What did he say in that letter? What did he say in that letter? About this? The letter just talked about. Uh, it was kind of like a formula for systematic racism. Yeah. So basically, he said, and and I'm going to quote one of the things he said. He said that it's the mentality, yes, basically, mm -hmm. it's a mentality mm -hmm. that they have instilled in us. Mm -hmm. He said that because slavery was about to be ended, whatever, he knew that because it was, you know, slavery was being challenged at mm -hmm. the time. Right. So he said the only way to keep them always under us is to keep that mentality, mm -hmm. make them divide again. He, he, yo, he systematically broke it down. Mm -hmm. This is in like 18 something. Mm -hmm. right. And it, he said it will keep them. It would keep black people behind mm -hmm. for 400 to 1,000 mm -hmm. years. And you know when they updated it, right? Hear me out. The, yeah. They yeah. updated it with the, with the rap music. Yeah, the music. So they had the conference no, I was about to in say 2000 that. Yes. that was basically updated, updated the, the new version Who of it. Who updated it? Um, I mean, it was, it was like Leo Cohen. Yeah. I mean, people. some people would say that, yeah. but it was the the powers that be or those in, in, in charge Yo, of the music it. industry. All right, so we identified the problem. What's the solution? How do we, How many generations are going to take to overcome this? How many, matter of fact, not take. How many generations? Are we going to give ourselves? We all know. Are, are you willing to, to? Are you willing to be the foundation, even if you don't see it? It Absolutely. starts with you. Then that's where it starts. I, I'm already the foundation. And that's what that's right. the, we, we, this, this right here. We starting it. This is how we started. It. And like I, like, like I was telling my my friend uh, Tamara, who's watching, I said there's two ways. That's why I like people. Some people like Martin. Mm -hmm. I prefer like Malcolm. Him. Right. Mm -hmm. And the reason is is because Martin tried it peacefully and stuff like that, and it. It was working, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it, it you gotta put your foot on rock. the neck and we gotta do our own thing, bro. First of all, like, you know what I'm saying? You know how, how how few blacks even had a hand in the civil rights movement? Yeah, fact. That shit was a South movement with some college kids and whoever else was down there. Mm -hmm. And a handful of hippie blacks that was woke, that was sympathizers. Yo, I took my grandmother to see Selma and she was just as surprised as me. I buzzed and said, Grandma, you a sellout. She was like, what you talking about, boy? I said, yo, what the hell you was doing with the civil rights movement? I thought I'm going to get like, yeah, I remember he's on the march. And I was like, I said, man, I was laying across my bed. That shit was like a TV show. The civil rights movement was social media for blacks back then when it was going on and up, and up north in New York City. But they was getting their asses bit by dogs or sprayed by water hoses. <laughs> Motherfuckers didn't have enough sense to send, yo, and, and, but I got a hundred stories about how we all packed up in the car and drove down South Carolina with no heat and no AC and blah, 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 blah. No, no, they packed up in the car to go down there to lend arms and hands and, and, and feet to help fight that cause. That's they left that point. shit on their back. No, but the point of it is we all rip, reap the benefits from their efforts. But what I'm saying is, yo, bro, like, we got to be, we got to think realistically. We, you said, we, what's we the, are, you, you and said, the realistic thing is, we all hands on deck. 
Everybody yeah, yeah. doing this. And I'm kind of thinking I'm in the same situation. Yeah. All hands on deck. Just, 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 not just wait for Obama. Like, not wait for the lottery. Not wait for the big movie star or the, or the big Tyler Perry gives something. I over do something. Forget all of them. We all possess the same qualities as them. And you got to remember that most of us at the table got our own company. But keep that in keep that in mind. With that being said, when you encounter a person who's not, mm -hmm. just either speak louder and mm -hmm. keep going, or just keep going. I'm just one you better. can't stop. I'm the one better. You I'm can't one better. stop yeah. to tell don't, them what he's don't, not don't doing. Don't even engage those people by yourselves because the negative influence, for some reason, has a little bit more strength in those capacities. I had an analogy I had used one time. We do a family um, meeting um, um, monthly. And I said, my, the, the remedy is this. One, we got to stop projecting everything outward. Like, this is the elite person or our black leader's job to do. This right. is every black man, woman, and child's job every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To do. This means it's still in your kids, no bullying, no bullshit. Be smart. Be a scholar. Be educated. It's cool to be smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. You want to be flying all that? We got to change that mindset. And, 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 and that's changing the mindset. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then, on top of that, I was said, like, this is how it starts. We're going around the line. We're going to do this experiment right here. How you feeling? Hi, how are you? Great. Ask her the same question. How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? Great. <laughs> I'm <all right. laughs> Perfect. I'm excellent. Perfect. And I'm great. So he's all right. Now what happens is we can't leave this, leave this table, not leave this table literally, until we make sure he's great <laughs> like all the rest of us. Now, he could try and work on him. He might be strong enough to overpower him and his negativity will be enough to stop you. You ain't going to stop the other, the rest of us, exactly. collectively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then we send that energy out abroad. And don't try, because a lot of times that's what happens. You, somebody's going through something negative. I'm, I'm a very upbeat, positive person. But that shit could wear me down, probably. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and change my whole disposition. But here's the key. You identify the like-minded people, and then we start working from there. You know what I'm saying? And, and if by chance, there's a person that just don't want to be right, at least we know who they are, and they are outside the box, and we focus on the positive people. We got to get the like-minded people and come together collectively and work. We, we cannot afford to compete with each other in, in any market. We have to share and disseminate information. We have to give support to each other on all levels and all fronts and hold them accountable to do a quality service and do, give quality products. Don't just support me just because you know me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hold me accountable. Like, yo, bro, that was cool, but... This ain't, that that t-shirt's cool, but the the, the the seams wasn't right on or something like that. So I can make it better. Hey, um, your your graphics is off. We got a graphic designer right here. Okay, what's your rates? Know what I'm saying? Re respect our rates. We don't respect shit black. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it's like if it's beyond us, then we want it more. When you and you got it right there in front of you. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? All right, we got all this question. That was good. You know what I'm saying? By the way, that's the shit that me and Justin was talking about the other day. We was in um um. What was that? Was that? A late night talk. We were talking about that shit the other day. That's dope. Oh, I like that. All right, this question right here really gonna cause a problem. Cause when I read it, I was like, yeah, I already have an answer. She's not gonna like it, but. <laughs> Yeah, this is your question too. So you said now females, since now females are more independent, how um, does that affect traditional roles in the household and the family? Mm. Me and Justin kind of had this conversation. Well, females are independent. So what does All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna start. So I, 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 can I even get to answer these questions? I, I feel there's nothing wrong with a female being independent, and, mm -hmm. and it should not affect traditional values. The issue is How that... How many female, independent females you know that are truly independent? But it's not even that. That's not even my question right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's true. No. There are females out here that are probably truly independent. Shout out to my mom's R.I.P. Yeah, yeah no, I know. They probably are. And that's not the issue. The problem is that, like I said, my mother's on here. My mother my mother make $90,000 a year. She independent. She ain't, she ain't me. But the difference with the no. women now... <laughs> right? With mom. My, mom, my mom's the head nurse at... Um, yeah, I'm blowing you up. Where, my mom's, mom's the head nurse at... My mom's the head nurse at... Where, she's not she good. No, I'm not. My mother wants people to come because she works in the psych ward. And she wants to, you know, if you have an issue, she's my mother to talk to, have a conversation with you. She's good with that. But anyway, what I was going to say was, this is my issue with your question. It's a phenomenal question. I agree. I'm going to get along. But there's one problem with a lot of black women when it comes to this independent shit. Mm -hmm. What? It's like, me and Roger were talking about this the other day. What do you call a black female that got her shit together like that? What do you usually call a strong? Successful, strong. No, a strong black woman, right? Okay. Right. Why is that only in our race? What you mean? You don't hear strong Asian woman. You don't hear strong white woman. Because it's only in our race that we have the culture of putting each other down, whether it's men. No, 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 no. Female. But what I'm saying, no, listen to me. What I'm saying is, in our race, right, when an independent woman is doing her thing, she's mm -hmm. a strong black woman. She don't need no man. Mm -hmm. 
You never who had. Said, who said that? That's the that's the stigma. That's well, a, the, I think white women don't they don't put the white part on. They say strong woman, but no. They well, do, what do I'm saying job. is the reason what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like because I was, I was <laughs> you yeah, know they, they'll say that okay yeah, I get that yeah. but most black women that are like that we have a lot of women mm -hmm. that feel they don't need a man that's it's all systematic bro the I whole situation but even with that stressing that point you that's showing weakness in itself because to say you strong versus what and versus who but bro saying, but I'm you strong because you pay your bills on time. You strong because you 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 make ninety thousand dollars a year. That's the point that I'm making. Yeah. Like in, in our culture, right. we give people we give each other credit for stuff we for should already be doing. Yeah. yeah. But what what made you yeah. weak? Because oh, he's a real life. father. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 You you babysit right. my kids. You know. Right. You, they're your kids. Well, but what I'm trying to say, let me make it short. Cause I don't want to answer too long. But what I'm saying is the reason that what the problem is is I feel this is my personal opinion. I just feel like with the other women, they still know that they can be independent and do mm -hmm. what they have to do. Mm -hmm. But they know their role. They have a husband. They respect their husband. No. And they know what I'm saying. That's the problem, bro. No we have a lot of women that don't that, 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 that you, don't want to have the what's tradition. What's the role of a woman? My my mom's is alpha omega. That's fine. No, no, I'm just saying. I don't know what, what, what other role. I didn't have no father. No, but what, nothing. I'm, like, what like, I'm saying, like, yeah. But the oh. thing is, your mother's mentality also too. Like you know, what I'm saying like is. Where, you know, because she's a, they're from a different generation. I'm mm -hmm. talking about this particular generation with women now. This is generation the point. women now can't cook. They they, they should they cause. I don't think that's like, the issue. I think I think what you what like you, what he's meaning is more like it's a respect thing. Okay? Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying, bro. Like, back you, in the days, old, old old the generation before, like my mother is a very strong black woman. She raised eight kids almost by herself, mm -hmm. but she still respected my father. They, they, yeah. That's she was the issue, a bro. A nurse in the daytime, mm -hmm. a home attendant at night, and she would never say to my father, "Fuck out of here! I don't need you. I got my own money." <laughs> right. But nowadays, these birds. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah. So what happened is now um we're relating independence. With, with something else, I don't, yeah, it's that's like, the yeah, issue. It's, so that's that's, the that's issue. that was the that's that's, a, that's what I wanted to get, that's, and I said that's, oh, what that's what no, and I, I know what you were trying to say, yeah. but yeah, I'm saying, saying I said this question. <laughs> No one's independent. First of all, the men and women are created for each other. Right. Let's understand that. Like, like, like this. I, I wrote a post the other day. There's no reason for a man and woman to ever compete in nothing. Right. Because right. a man is a man, a woman is a woman. Right. And I think you know in, in relationships, that's the biggest part because you 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 can't to to the, to the point of like roles. The roles need to be defined on a case by case basis. Mm -hmm. The role is depends on who you're dealing with. Right. Yeah, in that relationship, I, you can't just say, "Well, in my last relationship, I did this, 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 and this." I think we should just get rid of roles. And That's like, right. Yeah. I, think, I think it should just be yeah. who you with, what y'all, what you. I like, agree you with that too. We should table. be a team. We should be a right. team. And, right. and, 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 and God business. forbid. Yeah. It's no one should. It's when, a when I think we sh a lot of times in life we show up with the contingency uh, if I slack mm -hmm. instead of going with the contingency like. No hold bar. I can't. There is no failure. I can't let you down. Yeah, I, right. I, I, I gotta of, hold my end of the bar. A lot of oh, you owe me but ones if, and oh, I did yeah. this. Now you but gotta. But if you, you can't know. hold your own at the moment, you have your significant other. You have right. that's your yeah. teaming. Yeah, right. that's, that's your not partner. To be spoken but, on. No, no, it's and, something and, to be spoken and, on because not everything is gonna go the right way that it's supposed to mm -hmm. all the time. You to sometimes you're gonna have those downfalls. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're gonna have these failures, mm -hmm. and sometimes you're going to need to lean on your partner, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gonna have to agree to that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a lot what I'm of saying. It. It's a case but by case basis. At the end of the day, with with. preparation of time and nothing, like you said, nothing's a given. But when you do your due diligence and you plan things out, and not even necessarily just one plan, have a plan A, B, C, whatever you D, need down yeah, the line, things work. And your partner might be one of those plans. But how that situated, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of us don't. We jump into situations, relationships, and, 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 and all, all above, and there's no real, there's no courting, there's nothing. It's just you yeah. end up. Oh shit! Here we are. So mm -hmm. The thing is, like you know, like back to what you were saying, like with the whole independence thing. My mother, she don't, she didn't need my father. She could live her own life, did what she had to do. But the thing that we're missing, see, the thing that's that's separate. I'm seeing it. So that's why I like like a lot of dudes, and it's crazy because I feel it's the most ignoramus thing to do. Like how mm -hmm. people are just like, oh, I'm not dating black chicks no more. I'm gonna date a white chick. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're saying that is, is because yes, a lot of females that you need they're angry and they are, they're going through things because when they, they hold, hold on, just let me finish what I'm saying. Listen, my mother always said a woman will know her, a woman will respect a man that knows how to lead, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. If, if the man knows his role and the woman will, it's a, it's a natural thing of order. What's going on is that we're going against that natural order right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The strong black woman, mm -hmm. oh, you don't need a 
man. Like, look how they do with the government housing. You can't have a man in that household. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's all systematic. It's exactly. a mentality they instill in you to make you think that. So can That's we bring up that, that one of the names on that list, Oprah? Oh, yeah, well, you know. Because her and Stedman situation and how he just hey. been... Ain't no crazy. She won't marry him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm She won't marry him. Full circle. One of the names of that list, Oprah, she kind of... You know what yeah, I mean? A lot of yeah. women looked at her and, and said, oh, yeah, that's how I'm going to do. I'm not going to marry that. Like, she yeah. said, I'm not marrying I'm, him. Yeah. Gangsta. Yeah. But a lot of men got open paper, though. But I was right, but they but, but that's what it is. She's still not that mentality. Right. I, I, like I, I want to be like Oprah, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. Let's go to the next that's question, bro. That's what they want to say. Um, yeah. I'm going to go to, okay, this is, this is a good question, but I probably asked that at the end. This is one of the other questions. I'm going to go to Justice's question right now. What are three negative behavior traits that set us back? You can just name three. Three negative behavior traits from what, black people? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we kind of went through them. You know, our, our consumerism and lack of, you know, uh, business acumen. Mm -hmm. Um our always defeated attitude for the most part, speaking in general, because mm -hmm. I don't see that here amongst us, but our defeated attitude of, oh my God, what was me? Why has this always happened to me? Or the man did this. Or the woman, or the woman. Or the woman. Exactly right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 arms folded across the table, oh, no smoke. Yeah, and, 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 and like we were talking to earlier about, you know, when, when our people have a business, we kind of want to, you know, we want a discount or we want it for the low. We, we don't, we don't yeah, support the business crazy. full. Y'all yeah, paying full price for whatever you selling. We always say, oh, no, my man's got these shirts, so I'm going to just get a, hook me up, though. Right. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying, yo, how much is it? I'm buying two, get the other one away. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Like, I, I like what the baby did when he, when he seen the kids on the street and he bought the candy for them, yeah, and then he get right back, back to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm That's saying? Something like time. that. We don't do that enough. We, we always I look like, like too. oh, you selling shirts? Oh, good, because I need one. Let me just get one of those. Right, right. let me get, let me just, just you know what I'm saying? And so we don't, you know, that that we do, we just, you know, we try to use, we try to use people more than help, you know, build people. As far as tr treat, treat is yeah. a funny word yeah. uh, in that scenario because it implies that um, it's something that that has not. It's something that we were born with mm. outside of our own. Okay, okay characteristics. Uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I mean, because it's all learned. It's the, all learned right, behavior. Right. The main thing that I would yeah. say is the one of the biggest problems is that we discuss the problem and don't end the discussion with the solution. Yes. 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 So that's pretty much. Okay. I think that's pretty much how I try that's probably to the main thing. <laughs> I, I, try to, I try to discuss the problem mm -hmm. for my that eighty twenty rule. So I give myself the eighty percent to complain mm -hmm. and have a problem and then and then you gotta snap out of it and start going toward the yeah, solution. Yo. Everybody but also <laughs> understand that everybody's time to move on is different mm -hmm. so you can't push somebody like I did it so you could do it, mm -hmm. you know? So a, those two things, have. right? Mm -hmm. I did it so you could do it right. and discuss the it, discuss the problem and don't leave the table or the discussion until you have a, solution. a number of solutions mm -hmm. that are actionable, right. okay? That are actionable. So we could discuss things, but actionable solutions. Just I think we, we, we don't share information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. do not share information. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, like I could have something that could really help you that I'm not even using, mm -hmm. and and I don't give it to you. That's crazy. And anyone that in, in particular, one thing for me, another thing is speaking from a real time practical aspect too. A lot of times, we'll speak in an ideological text or tone, and this shit that you know damn well you wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like one time I was watching a podcast and dude was talking about um, they talking about um courting a young lady. I say, yo, you and your girl that I just met. So let's say, you know, hype that we just met, we mm -hmm. fancy each other, mm -hmm. and we said, oh, we are gonna go down to the clinic and get tested together. And I look, and I hit him. I say, did you ever do that? Don't tell me it should, and that should be the way. Mm -hmm. But really, we gonna have a good time. One thing leads to another. Oops, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And that shouldn't be high B. So talk, speak in a real time and then say well this might not be the best behavior i need to correct to this but really live what you're talking and what you're doing a lot of time a lot of us are going around lip professing mm -hmm. and, and we don't tell the whole story tell the good and the bad you know what i'm saying but mainly like we got to share information i have a question with regard to that though mm -hmm. or rather to add to it because mm -hmm. a, a lot of times we don't share information but as a whole people don't ask so but we, have wait, to, no, we have to we have to combine the, the two. Don't we have to combine the don't two. Don't wait from the ass. I'm saying. Sometimes you, I'm so busy doing what I'm doing, it's hard for me to disseminate 
uh, what I got going and, and, and on. And unless fair. you ask. Mm-hmm. But 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 I, mean, I don't know if you're interested. But, I don't but, know if you but, care. Both of y'all saying the right thing. Know what that? Right. Know the answer to that is? It's a little bit of both. Communication. Mm-hmm. Right. Communication. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Go ahead. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> y'all both right. Y'all both right. No one's wrong. It's communication. <laughs> right. Right. Don't 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 wait for him to ask. But don't wait for him to don't wait for that. Don't wait for him to tell you either. Right. You right. ask him. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you like, want to know, ask the pizza. Yeah. He always jumps in and you know like yo. I, I he got so turned over, he said he want to help nobody. Because <laughs> he getting frustrated with everybody. He's rallying. Yeah, I, I need to meet him. Good, bro. Me too. Um, I'm going to go off on a limb and say white supremacy. Okay. okay. A lot of people think that white supremacy lives in white people, but it lives, lives in our in our culture too. Mm-hmm. It's a mentality that we share with each other, and it's the reason why when we consume, we idolize different brands. We mm-hmm. idolize being successful as individuals and don't know how to put our peoples on, and we always want to undercut. So it's the fact that we're carrying this idea that we are at at least to me and at this generation and the generation before this one are now conscious socially mm-hmm. about what is going on and why we why we've arrived here why we're uneducated why we're being limited and we're fighting for it but we still sometimes carry these traits of white supremacy meaning like we will worship we'll worship white women we'll worship um, corporate America and and and, and, and and right and and, and, and corporate okay. strategies of oppression and so on and so no. forth mm-hmm. so I feel like that's a mentality that we that keeps us set set us back yeah, that's one of your questions you asked me but let her go answer get her quick answer <laughs> um, uh, well the main thing the main the, the answer is the mindset mm-hmm. the mindset yeah. tr- is, it, it, it includes everything you guys said so the right. mindset is first and that two other things I feel about black people we have this superior like I'm gonna fuck you up mentality like mm-hmm. we could beat the whole world that's true, man. <laughs> mentality like stuff don't go our way we want to fight like mm-hmm. you know, and that's me too like that's straight <laughs> gangster in me and then it's this other um it's this word I'm looking for it's like we have this it's like we expect it's not an expectancy but like we have this it's a word false entitlement right like this we have this entitlement about us mm-hmm. that like I don't know. I, I can't really describe oh, it. Entitled, entitled uh, to what? Space. Mm-hmm. We just better. Mm-hmm. We just, like, when I, when I show homie, up. Yeah. You're supposed to give me you're this. Give yeah, me, yeah. yeah, when yeah, I yeah, show up, and, it's like we have this thing up. Like, sit the fuck down, man. Like, it's, I'm not going to say it's lack of humility, but we are not humble. Okay. Yeah, like we come off very. We're one another. You mean. Yeah, with, with each other. Per- to other people, mm-hmm. too. To, we feel, I, I feel like we're superior, period, but we, we ignorantly act like it if you get what I'm saying okay yeah all right so I only have one and mine is like not having several plans for your life Mm -hmm. is a big negative so some people feel like oh you're gonna go to school you're gonna graduate and get a job automatically no Mm -hmm. because it doesn't happen that way don't you go to school you get you got you graduate you don't get a job some people stop right there and they're just home collecting what government assistance is giving them because they a have a child or b some have some type of medical deficiency with them and not having these plans to back us up legitimate actionable plans we're failing mm-hmm. so that's fine so look Dope. honestly this is really good you know we got a couple more questions i'm gonna take a little five minute break because roger already know when it comes to editing we like to do a certain thing so it's gonna take like maybe not five minutes two minutes let people stretch real quick we've been sitting here for like right, an hour exactly. and we're gonna finish the rest of this i'm going away i can say yeah hey kb play your song bro <laughs> 